for today is Honey. Uh, you will say, Kyo wa harete imas. So, lakayan ko lang. And please try to remember the do des ka. If you hear the questions, do des ka. Uh, the meaning of do des ka is how about or how is. So, we have the subject, the weather. So, thank you. Wa. Do des ka. How is the weather? So, if it's hot, again, at sui des. And if it's cold, samui des. Or, if you want to say today is raining or today is sunny day or is sunny, you will say kyo wa ame ga futte imas. And the second one is kyo wa harite imas. Or you can say na uunin kyo wa harite imas. And if it's hot, at sui des. Of course, if sunny, mainet. So at sui des. And if it's raining, Samoyde. So may ask Jovisan, ah, uh, Jovisan no tokoro de tenki wa do desu ka? Um, um, samoyde. Hi, samoyde. <laughs> Yo kata desu ne, samoyde. Doko ni sunde masu ka? So, doko is where and sunde imas is to live. So, where do you live? May I ask? Uh, iriga ni sunde imas. Iriga ni sunde imas. Yokata desu ne, samui. Hai. Koko de atsui de. So, we have the place, koko. And we have the particle for de. And we have the adjective atsui. And the adjectives is, we will learn adjectives in lesson 5. So, we are done with the past tense of verbs last time, but hindi tayo nakapractice. So, review natin ang past tense of verbs. So, we have the present tense tense and the past tense. Of course, the present tense is the mass form. And the negative present tense is the masen form. And if you convert present tense to past tense, the mass will become mashita or mashta, silent I again. And the negative past tense will become masen plus the deshta. So, don't forget if past tense, mashta, and masen deshta. Mas, mas, and we are done with ta, this mas, practice, right? Mas, so, we will uh, uh, try to answer this practice. So, we have pictures below show what Mary did last week. So, we have example here. We have Monday. Monday is Getsuyobi. And we have a uh, subject, Mary san. So, Mary san wa. Of course, after the subject, we have the wa, but written by ha, but pronounced by wa. So, lagi silang partner. So, after the subject, we have the particle wa, which uh, marks the subject. Getsuyobi, we have the time and we have the time like Getsuyobi until Nichiyobi until Sunday. Nilalagyan natin ng particle na ni. Getsuyobi ni. So, we have the subject, wa, time ni. The word order. So, don't forget the word order. And after the time, we have the place, Toshokan. And this is the uh, Hiragana and the country of Toshokan. Toshokan de. And after the place, if um, we have the hindi siya, uh, hindi siya verb for place or hindi siya verb for destination, pwede mo siyang lagyan ng direct object o plus the verb, kailangan ang particle natin sa place is de. And we have the verb, Benkyo shimashita. 
hindi siya movement na for destination kaya de. So we have subject again, time, place, and verb. So dito nagi-study si la Mary. So sa library, in the library we have given the place. So Mary sa nawa gets your bi, gets your bini, osho kante, thank you si Masta. And we have a number one, so we have Tuesday, and of course our subject is Marisan, and we have the place home. Home in Japanese is Uchi. Uchi, yes. And dito nagsusulat siya ng letter, so wrote a letter. Letter in Japanese yung sulat, as in um. Yes, writing a letter or wrote a letter. Tegami yo. And the verb for write or to write is kaku. And pagka past tense of kaku. Kaki. Remove the you. Kaki mas. Will become kaki. Masen. Mashta. Ay kaki mashta. Can you try to construct a sentence? Dozo, Jovisan. Mary San wa kayubi ni uh, uchi de yes. kakimashita. Tegami yo. Tegami yo. Kakimashita. So, if we have um, direct object, pwede natin isama ang direct object. To become is specific. Or pwede din naman yung sinabi mo kanina de kaki mashta but ano ang kanyang sinasulat right hindi buo ang ating sentence but pag may picture understood naman so it's all right i think so we have here uh, let's try number 2 so dito ang direct object is tensu So, if you want to say to play or anything na game, ang lagi niyang verb is suru. And suru is irregular. Kaya naging she must, the present. And the past tense is she must ta. So, it's understood na last Wednesday siya nag-play ng tense. But, pag mas form to, present tense, next Wednesday siya, mag-play ng tense. So, ganon ang grammar construction ng Nihongo. Right? And we have at school. And school in Nihongo is Gakko. Gakko. Ay, Dozo. So, you'll be ne? Marisan wa so you'll be ne? Sui yobi. Sui su sui sui yobi ne. Gaku de. Yes. Tennisu o solo shimashita. Shimashita. Tennisu o shimashita. So last Wednesday, Mary San played tennis at the school. Ibig sabihin past tense. So so we have a. Mokuyobi, Thursday. Mokuyobi. And we have at a coffee shop. And coffee shop in Japanese is? Kisaten. Kisaten. Yes. Kisaten. And nakita sila ni Robato-san or nag-uminom na lang sila ng Kohiyo Nomu Will become Koyo Nomi Masta. Ay dozo. Mary San wa Mokuyo bine kisa ten de Koyo Mommy Masta. Kohi. Yes, Kohiyo Nomi Masta. So, we have number four. Friday is Kinyobi. So, don't forget Friday, Kinyobi. And at her friend's house. So, we have the noun one, friends. And we have the noun two, the house. 
So, kung naaalala yung lesson 2, the owner and of course, the item. So, friends, in Japanese is tomodachi. 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 And we have the no connecting the two nouns of course tomodachi no come your place so yung isang mahabang to at her friends ha how tomodachi no uchi de tapos parang kumakain sila ah tabe mono o tabe mas tabe mono is food or anything you want if ah Breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Pwede rin tayo mag-assure, right? Asagohan is breakfast, hirugohan is lunch, Tabi and dinner mo. is banggohan. Tabi mo no wo. Tabi, Tabi mo. Mashita. Tabi mo wo. Tabi mashita. Last Friday, Marisan ate dinner Marisan at her wa. friend's Kiyobi. house. Tabi mashita. Ay, dozo. Tushukan. Mary San wa kin yobi ne Tomodachi no uchi de Ay sorry Tomodachi no Ya Tomodachi no Dozo uchi de Tabi mi tabi mo no Tabi mo no o wo Hi, the dashi this yo, it's correct. And number five, we have Saturday, the yobi, and Kyoto is based in Japan. So, can you ah guess? Ko ano ang ginawa ni Mary San last Saturday? Nood po ng movie. Yes. So we have movie is. Ano yun? Ega. Ega. And of course, if we have direct object, kasunod niya ay o, written by wo, like this, but pronounced as o. Ega wo, and the verb to watch is, miru, so remove the ru, and we have, mimashita, adamashita. Hi, dozo. Mary San wa yobi ne Kyoto. Kyoto. Kyoto de ega u me mashita. Hi, ega wo me mashita. Tadashi desu yo. And if I ask you, do yobi ni do yobi ni Saturday? Nani yo? Shimashita ka? So, what did you do last Saturday? Yung shimashita, pwede mo siyang palitan ng kahit anong verb. And nani, dun mo ilalagay ang iyong direct object. For example, watashi wa doyobi ni. Uchi de, pwede mo lagyan ng place. Uchi de. Tennis o shimashita. I played tennis last Saturday at night. So if like the question is like this, lagi siyang ganon. Or watashi wa doyobi ni uchi de nihongo o benkyo shimashita. So I studied nihongo at my house last Saturday. Or kung ano man ang pwede mo gawing verb and direct object. So, meron ka ng past tense na ginawa mo. So, may I ask, last Saturday, what did you do? Do you have any? Nani o shimashita ka? Watashi wa do you have any uchi de ang kinapin na. Ano po ang tawag doon? Nanood lang po ng TV. Teribio? Teribio Ega? 
or Ega. Ega is movie. Terebio. Pwede rin naman. Teribio. Teribio. Mimashita. Mimashita. Hai. Tadashi desu yo. And you already know how to construct sentence uh, with present and past tense. And I'm glad that naroon na tayong mag-compose na sentence. Kailangan na lang talaga review on your own para ma-absorb yung uh, lesson, right? And I assure that after the 12 sessions or 16 to 20 sessions, kasi nagdadalawang araw na tayo medyo mahaba yung uh, practice and um, yung lesson. So after that, I assure you, sa December, if pwede na mag-take ng exam, kaya-kaya mo na mag-take ng N5 level because this one, after this book, N5 level na ang katapat niya when you take the exam. So, please study hard para hindi sayang yung bahay. If you have time lang naman, of course, mahirap magsabayin ang work and studying ni Hongo, right? And before we move on to the grammar construction, last time, nag-umpisa muna kami sa uh, kanji and dito sa months para hindi masyadong uh, maiwan yung lesson. And we have January. So, January is itchi because January is panguna siya sa month. And we have February, pangalawa, ni. So, word, uh, parang counting number lang siya plus the gatsu. So, if, um, sorry, nakihan ko lang. So, if January, dahil pang una siya, and number one in Japanese is ichi, plus the word gatsu. And the kanji of ichi is like this, and the kanji of gatsu is this. So, if you have notes, can you try to write this kanji? So, Ichigatsu is January. And we have February, of course. And the kanji of ni, same as a counting number. So, we have ni plus the gatsu again. So, madali lang naman i-drawing, right? So, kahit hindi mo gayahin ang kanyang stroke, basta kamukha niya yung kanji, good to go ka na. So, we have March, Sangatsu. So, tatlo siya. So, very important na nababasa din natin ang kanji. Para alam na natin, ah, March pala yun. And we have Shigatsu, but four is yon right? And we have she if sa month siya gagamitin. So, we have four. Shigatsu. This is she, and this is the gatsu. And we have the number five, of course, May. Pang five ang May. Go gatsu. This is the kanji for May. And we have the gatsu. Go gatsu. And June, yung month ngayon, Roku. Roku gatsu. And we have uh, the July, Shichigatsu. The kanji for July. Shichigatsu. 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 And Hachigatsu is Shichi. August. Hachi plus the Gatsu. So, lagi lang siya Gatsu plus the number Shichi. of Shichi. months. Shichi. And we have September, Kugatsu. And we have the October is Jugatsu. Jugatsu. Yes. So, may ganun pala ang yun. May onting kuwet dun sa ku. And Jugatsu is kanyan plus the Gatsu. And Juichi is, of course, the kanji of pen. That's the kanji of Ichi is Gatsu. And we have the Juni, the kanji of pen again. And the kanji of two plus the Gatsu. 
Uy. Yan. Yan ang kanji ng uh, month. Pero of course, uh, pwede mo na ang isulat kware rokogatsu if you are doing date uh, or susulat mo yung date sa paper. So, if June is pang 6 siya, 6 plus the kanji of months, gatsu, pwede mo na ang isulat ng ganyan ang months. If you are here in the Philippines, of course, and already understood or un naintindihan na nila na June siya. Of course, pag July 7, plus the gatsu. Hi, makarimashita ka, Jovisan? Yes po. If yes, hi, makarimashita. Right? I understand. Hi. 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 So, pag nagsusulat ka na ng date ngayon, kunwari sa diary or sa hindi naman very important, yung sa sarili mo lang, pwede mo na siyang gawin ganyan. And of course, very important is the days. So, if we have months, ang kasunod ng months sa atin is the day. So, right here is the, sorry, uh, the Romaji of Yatsuyogi. And dito sa middle is the Hiragana. And of course, our Kanji. So, pare-parehas lang sila dito sa pangalawang Kanji. Kaya, madali silang maintindihan. Ang pinagkaiba is yung mga nasa unahan. So, this uh, gets to Yobi, kapareha siya ng saman, right? So, ito din ang kanji ng moon. Pero pagka sa Monday siya, ibig sabihin, nagiging gets to plus the Yobi. And we have kayobi, the kanji for fire. So, but, sa Tuesday again, nagiging kayobi. And we have Suwiyobi, the kanji of this is water. And yan din ang kanji, of course, ng water, needs to bat. So, when it's day again, it will become Suwi plus the yobi. And we have Mokuyobi, this kanji is for trees. And pag Thursday, nagiging Moku plus the yobi. Moku plus yobi. And we have Kinyobi, Kin means gold. So, or money, and if Friday siya, it will become kin and yobi. Kin yobi will become Friday. And we have do yobi, Saturday, and this kanji is soil, but pag Saturday again, do plus yobi will become Saturday. And we have, of course, nichi yobi, this is the kanji of sun or day, but pag Sunday, you'll become Nichi plus Yobi. So, I will, I think, di ko pa ito nasa-send, and hindi siya kasama sa PowerPoint last time, so I will send this one para ma-review natin ang Monday to Sunday kanji. Okay? So, of course, we have the one day or two days until the 31 day, we have day one or one day is Sui Tachi. Sui Tachi. And the kanji is here. This kanji is Ichi, but hindi siya binabasang Ichi Nichi. Because one until ten is a special date. So, or special siya binabasa. We have number two. Pwede natin itong basahin ninichi, but if sa date, futsuka. Nagiging futsu plus daka. Ibig sabihin pang day two or two days. We have mika is three days. Mika and the kanji is here, the three, and the nichi. Like the nichi yobi because this is mean day and this is the number. And we have day four, yokka. Yokka. And day five, it's ka. Day six, of course, muika. And take note, the kanji is here. And we have nanoka. And we have yoka. Day eight, 
Kokonoka Day 9, and of course, Toka Day 10. And pagdating ng 11, and of course, 11 is Juichi, right? 11 is Juichi, add mo lang yung Nichi. So, Juichi, Nichi. And until sa number 13 or sa pang day 13. And we have 12. And 12 is Juni. And of course, plus the Nichi is day 12. And 13, Jusan plus the Nichi is day 13. And we have 14 is special. Hindi siya Juyon Nichi, but Juyoka. Juyoka. And we have, balik na naman tayo sa 15. 15 is Jugo plus the Nichi. Jugo Nichi. And we have 16. 16 is Juroku here plus, of course, the Nichi. And we have the 17. 17 is Jusichi plus the Nichi. Di Junana, but when it comes to number, nagiging Sichi. Or sa days, Ju, Sichi, Nichi. And we have 18. 18 is Juhachi plus the Nichi. So Juhachi Nichi is 18. And we have 19. 19 is Juku. Ni Juku, but Juku plus Nichi is pang 19 days or day 19. And we have Hatsuka. Alright, hindi siya ni Ju Nichi, but naging Hatsuka because 20 is also special. So, for example, ang birthday mo is January 20. So, we have Ichigatsu Hatsuka. And we have 21, Niju Ichi Nichi. Same siya. Balik siya sa Niju Ichi and Nichi. And of course, 22, we have Niju Ni plus the Nichi. And of course, 23, 23 is Niju San plus the Nichi. And we have 24, Niju Yoka. Again, di siya Niju Yon Nichi, but naging Niju Yoka. Another special readings for dates. And we have 25. Pag na naman siya sa regular. 25 is Niju Go plus the Nichi. Niju Go Nichi. And we have 26. Niju Roku, of course, plus the Nichi. And 27. Niju Sichi Nichi. Not Niju Nana, but Niju Sichi plus Nichi. And the kanji is here again sa taas. The hiragana is nasa gitna. So we have 28. Niju Hachi plus the Nichi. 28 day. Or Niju Ku Nichi. Niju Kyu or Niju Ku. Pwede rin naman. So, Nijuku plus the Nichi. And of course, the 30, Sanju plus Nichi. So, madali na yung chatandaan. Sanju, Ichi, Nichi, 31. 31 is Sanju plus 1, Ichi. And of course, the Nichi again. And we already ha have the dates on the calendar. So, please take note the number 1 hanggang 10. Because special siya. And of course, the 14, 20, and 24. So, bali 13 ang special. So, may I ask, Jovisan, when is your birthday? Sorry for asking. Sa English. And... Tama. So, Chichigatsu Suitachi. So, pwede mo nang ilagay ang 1. Of course, copy mo ang Nichi. And the year, sorry. 
1989 and the kanji of year is eto. Pwede mo rin siyang i-copy if you have notebook with you. So, year. It, we'll read this as nen. So, kagaya lang siya ng pagbasa ng numbers. So, sen, kyuyaku, hachiju, kyu, nen. So, first, basahin mo muna to. Then, of course, the kanji of nen. So, your birthday is, or tanjobi, tanjobi wa. Because birthday is tanjobi, tanjobi wa. Shigatsu, sumitachi, sen, kyuyaku, hachiju, kyunen. So, same as pagsulat ng date, pwede mo din isulat yung uh, June 6. So, rokugatsu. And we have, today is June 15. So, Jugo Nichi, right, 15, plus the kanji of Nichi. And of course, the kanji of 2021. 2021 then. Pero pag binasa mo yan, Rokugatsu, Jugo Nichi, Nisen, Nijuichi, Nen. This is Nen, yung kanji na yan. Depending sa year. Yan. Pwede ka na magsulat ng dates anywhere sa notebook mo. Right? You already studied date. Birthday, tanjobi. So, tanjobi wa nan ka? What is your birthday? But, commonly, pag uh, hindi kayo close ng Japanese, hindi siya tinatanong. But sa interview, right, tinatanong. So, nakakuha ko ng interview for uh, Accenture ata. Uh, puro siya nakasulat in Nihongo. So, baka by the end of the class or ng lesson, pwede natin siyang sagutan for you to practice. Or if mag-apply ka ng Japanese speaker na, pwede, kang, pwede mo siyang kingin sa akin. So, nakalagay doon kung bakit ka nag-aral ng Nihongo, what is your name, where do you live, kaganong questions. So, a century ata yung ano, questions. Hi. So, pero nakita ko sa Job Street, parang wala silang offer na Japanese speaker ngayong one. Nag-close na last time. So, minsan kasi, di ba, project-based yung ibang Japanese speaker na job pag sa call center, right? If you are planning to apply call center. So, last time, siguro 2020, share ko lang din. Sa Infinite O, uh, nag-try ako ng Japanese researcher. Madali lang. So, parang N5. And ang um, yung sahod is okay naman siya. Malaki. So, pero project-based lang siya. Kaya, Please study hard if you have time. So, maganda yung sahod nyo ng bilingual. Mahirap, pero madali pag nasanay ka na. Kunwari, uh, ito, Nihon. So, sa Japan, meron silang mga product like uh, Bure. Isi-search mo siya, tapos i-translate mo siya sa Nihongo. Kung ano yung pangalan niya. Meron katakana and hiragana. Of course, yung katakana, ma madali lang yung is Japanese translate eh. Pero yung hiragana, syempre, ikaw yung magta-type nun, di ba? Kasi pag tinranslate mo yun sa Google Translate, nakakatakana siya. Pero translate mo sa hiragana. Tapos, hahanapin mo yung kung saan siya uh, nabibili. Then yung kunwari, yung place na yun, Ita translate mo naman din sa Japanese, sa Nihongo. And kunwari, meron namang ibibigay na, hmm, ayun nga, na product. Magsisearch ka about sa product na yun. Diba? Ang ganda ng offer ng Infinity O. And depende pa kung anong time ang gusto mong gawin. Basta makapish mo ang, uh, yung task mo within the day. Pero project-based nga lang siya. Sayang, wala na lang. Pero pag meron, pag kailangan nila, then tapos na tayo mag-lesson, pwede ko na kayong uh, i-offer dun sa Infinity O. Maganda siya. Fairness, work from home. 
'di ba noong 2020 kasi ano, medyo pandemic. Pero hindi siya nagbigay ng laptop kasi project based lang. Keri naman yung software nila. Mm, hindi nga eh. One month yung ano niya. Hindi siya early rate. Parang may fix na, tama ba? Fix yung kanyang salary for the month. And pagka, of course, may mga time na unti lang yung i-research mo, tapos tapos ka na. Siguro mga uh, bago mag-end yung contract, wari 10 days, tapos na yung research. Siyempre, kung masipag ka that day, di ba? Ayun, kaya sulit. So, sana may mga mag-open pa ng ganun. Pero marami sa job street, right? Yung mga speak, Japanese speaker. Lalo na Accenture ngayon. Boom na boom. Kasi uh, may work allowance. Tapos nagbibigay pa sila ng allowance para sa mga gadgets, di ba? So, yun nga lang pagka nabagsak mo yung kanilang interview. Six months ka pa ulit daw. Pwede mag-apply. Tapos last time din nag-offer sila sa mga Japanese speaker na mag-aaral ka sa kanila ng six months. Then after that, kukuhanin ka nila. Yun nga lang may contract na three years. So, pag may mga ganong opportunity, pwede natin kuhanin. Anyway, we are on the kanji. So, uh, ang advice ko sa kanji kasi, di ba, meron tayong maraming tango dito. But usually, yung mga, of course, nakikita natin sa vocabulary, yun lang naman talaga ang N5. Yung vocabulary nandun mismo sa book. But kunwari, eto, we have the kanji like this. So, very important yan, of course, here. Nihon. Nichiobi. My Nichi. And yung Nikki, kahit tandaan mo na lang yan because hindi naman siya very important. And we have the Mitsuka and Hahanohi. Hindi naman din siya ginagamit. So, kung ano lang ang commonly heard mo sa mga pinag-aaralan natin, Eh, yun lang din naman ang kailangan natin i-memorize sa uh, kanji. Hindi naman the whole book kailangan mong i-memorize. Of course, tao lang tayo, hindi natin lahat natatandaan. Pero it's better na uh, isulat mo siya for you to practice kanji. Para pag nakita mo yung kanji na yun, ah, madali na to. Alam ko na to. And pag nag-take ka naman ng exam, may choices, of course. Kunwari, eto. Nakalagay siya as hiragana, hon, and find the kanji or choose the right kanji. Ito, of course, ang pipiliin mo. Kasi this is hon. So, we have five, um, paano siya i-drawing? So, ichi, ni, san, yon, go. So, we already draw the hon. Pag mag-isa lang siya, of course, hon. Pero pagkasama niya na to, ni plus the hon is Japan. So this is the kanji of Japan, ni hon. So madali lang siya kahit na hindi mo sundin ang stroke, na five stroke, nakaka-drawing ka ng hon. You already have kanji for book and for Japan. So pag pinagsama mo tong unang kanji and ito, Pero ka ng kanji for Japan. And Japanese language, Nihon, plus this kanji. Because this kanji is kanji for language. Nihongo. And we have the kanji for Yamamoto, the name of a first one. We have Yama. Yama is mountain. So, I think mountain you will encounter in lesson 5 kanji. And pag sinama mo tong kanji na to, na iba na ang readings niya. Yamamoto. And now, we have the kanji for tao or person, jin. Nihon jin. So, yung tatlong to, pag pinagsama mo, in mo to, it means Japanese people. And if Philippine jin, of course, susulat natin ng katakana ang Philippine. So, this is the katakana of Philippine. And of course, this kanji, because it's referring to a person, Piripinjin. 
So, pag nakita mong ganyan, then ito, it means Filipino. Referring to a person. So, we have the kanji for alone. So, we have the kanji for one, ichi, but we will read this as hitori. So, hitori plus the, kan the hiragana te. Hitori de is alone. If you want to say, uh, I hitori de, so replace the watashi word. Hitori de will become your subject and hindi na siya nilalagyan ng particle wa. Hitori de moro ni ikimasu. I will go to mall alone. Or if you go alone, if you went alone to the mall, Hitori de moro ni ikimasu. I went alone to the mall. Or if you say I eat alone, Hitori de Tabe mashta or hitori de. Or if, of course, uh, for example, cake. Cake yo tabe mashta. Hitori de. Uchi de. Cake yo tabe mashta. Pedi mo nang sabihing mag isa ka. And we have this person. Of course, this is kono. Kono hito. You will say this person is my uh, sister. So, kono hito will become your subject. Kono hito wa imoto des because imoto is younger sister or if a uh, older sister is oni onesan. Kono hito wa nani nani des or this person is my colleagues. Colleagues is a uh, doryo. So in Japanese, colleague is doryo, coworker. Kono hito wa my doryo or my coworker, watashi no doryo des will become the subject. Hindi lang puro watashi, watashi or name of person. Pwede ding maging uh, this person is our subject, right? So, basta napafollow lang natin ang word order. Yung unang-una nating word order, x, wa, y des. The subject, wa, plus the y. Y is about the subject and of course the test. The simple construction of a Japanese language or a Japanese grammar. And let me zoom in. We have the kanji for moon. So we already encountered the kanji for uh, Monday. Getsuyobi. So this kanji is Getsuyobi. And January again, Ichigatsu. And moon, pag nag lang sa is suki. Moon. So we already know uh, the meaning of this kanji. And if you say this month, kon gets. Kon gets. And one month is ika gets. So if you want to say I studied uh, Nihongo for man one month, ika gets ni Nihongo wo benkyo shimasu. Or, benkyo shimashita. So, kung ilan siya, kware two months, ni kagetsu, of course. Ni kagetsu. Three months, san kagetsu. So, palitan mo lang tong i. Magiging ichi ni san yon until kung ilang months mo siya ginawa. Right? And we have uh, kanji for fire. Pag sa Tuesday, kayo bi. And pag nag-iisa lang siya, is he, it means fire. And we have for volcano. This is the kanji for fire. This is the kanji for mountain. Kasan is volcano. Kasan. And we have fireworks, of course. This is the kanji for flower. Hana. And the kanji for fire is B. Hanabi fireworks. Hanabi yo mimas. I will watch fireworks. And we have kase is Mars. So, like this, yung mga ganto uh, kanji plus the vocabulary, hindi na siya medyo pinapansin. And we have sui, the kanji for water, mizu. Sui yobi, Wednesday. Mizu, pang nag-iisa lang siya, is water. And we have sui a, 
swimming and we have misugi is bathing suit misugi bathing suit and suido is water supply suwi plus the do will become the water supply and we have thursday mokuyobi this is the kanji of three mokuyobi and pag nag-iisa lang siya again is three key and we have kimura san Mm, name of a person. So, this is ki, the kanji for three, and this is the kanji for mura. And plus the san. And yung mga ganyan, hindi na siya masyadong pinapansin. Because sometimes, nakasulat naman talaga sa hiragana ang pangalan ng Japanese. Bihira sa uh, uh, kanji. But, syempre, ang technique dyan, if my san, kanji plus the san, it means name of person. Pag nag-e-exam ka na and hindi mo mabasa yung kanji, then nakita mo san, uh, it means name of the person. And we have the kanji for gold or money, kin or kane. And pag Friday, it will become kinyobi. Money is kane, but uh, the more polite to say money in Japan, we will put o, hiragano o, at uh, at the sa unahan ng kanji na money. So, o kane, o kane, will become polite of saying money in Japanese. And we have charge. Charge is a uh, payment or sukle or bayat. Ryo kin. So, ryo, this is ryo plus the kin. The Kanji for money. It means charge payment or bayad niya. Charge payment. And we have okane mochi is rich person. Because this mochi, it means to bought or to have. Because mochi is a verb for to bought niya. Right? So okane is money. So parang may dala, -dala siya pera. Okane mochi is rich Person. And of course, we have Saturday. This is the kanji for Saturday. It means soil. And pagka sinama mo siya, do yobi will become Saturday. And of course, pag iisa lang siya is suchi. So let me zoom in. And pagka land, naging kasama niya na tong kanji na to, will become tochi. And we have clay, nendo. And nendo, I think, is nasa N4 level na siya. So, pwede mo naman na din siyang i-memorize. Nendo. Yung mga other vocabulary, I think, na nasa N4 level na sila. Pag nasa kanji. Pero yung mga vocabulary dun sa book mismo, yung kagaya ng sa una, yung kasunod ng kaiwa, uh, N5 level lahat yun, of course. And we have the yo. Ito yung mga nasa uh, kasunod ng sat ng doyo b ni chiyobi and we have 18 strokes so i will uh, teach you how to draw it so para magtatay mag um, do drawing ka lang rectangle na naka horizontal right vertical sorry and we have the double e at the top of the kanji. Dalawang i sa taas. So, we have to draw the two i. And after the i, dito sa dulo, we will have the two slant line. Ito siya. Ito, tsaka ito. And after that, we will draw... Um, Horizontal line, tatlo. One, two, three, four. Apat, sorry. And the vertical line. And of course, dito, yung buntot nito, magiging vertical line din siya. So, we already have the yo B. This is yo. Plus the B is yung nichi lang siya. Yung malaking uh, rectangle kanina sa... Unahan. Pero ang basa na sa kanya is B. So, ito siya. Ito.
kaya siya naging yobi. Plus, the kanji, of course, na uh, Monday until Sunday. So, if Monday, we have getsu. So, getsu plus the yobi. Sorry, namali ako. Getsu plus the yobi. So, pwede mo na siyang practicein para uh, kahit yung Monday to Sunday, alam mo na ang uh, kanji. Getsu yobi. So, maliit na rectangle again. And dalawang i sa taas. And after the i, yung slant line doon sa dalawang dulo. And pwede palang pahaba, yung vertical line. And horizontal line, apa, two, three, four. And another vertical line. And of course, the malaki, the big. Magkakapantay sila ng laki. It will become get suyobi and so on hanggang Sunday. And we have the kanji now for tap. Tap is uwe. Uwe. And we have the good at or magaling. This is na adjective jozu. Jozu na. If you want to say good person, so modify the noun. Jozu na hito. Diba? Meron tayong a. Uh, Kanji for people or person, it means hito. Jozu na hito. It means good person. And in lesson 5, we will already encounter uh, adjectives. E and na adjectives. And we have rooftop. Rooftop is okujo. And to go up, novoru. If you want to say, uh, I will go up. Uh, at the stairs. So, lagi siyang ni. Kaidan ni noboru. Because, um, for destination places siya. Kaidan is stair, stairs. Noboru. And if you want to say, I will climb, I climb, I will climb mountain. Yama ni. Because mountain is yama. Yama ni noboru. And of course, the mass form. Kasi noboru is the roof form or the dictionary form. Noboru, nobori mas will become ai. Kasi special siya. Yama ni nobori mas. Noboru, sorry. Nobori mas. Noboru to get up or to climb. Noboru. And special, kaya it's consider you verb, magiging ay, nobori plus the mas. Nobori mas. And we have the kanji for under is shita. Kanji for under is shita. And we have also the kanji for subway. And subway is nasa ilalim siya and sa Japan meron silang subway so chika tetsu so pag nakita mo na yung kanji na to plus ito it means subway and if we have good at of course we have poor at hetana so we have the kanji na pababa or under plus the kanji for hand this is the kanji for hand but pag kasi nabing poor at hetana Heta na hito. Poor person. Poor, it means hindi siya yung mahirap, pero uh, kware, hindi siya magaling sa isang bagay. Heta des, I'm poor at. So, for example, ni Hongo wo, uh, hanasu wa. Heta des, I'm poor at speaking ni Hongo. So, we have, please give do, kudasai. This is the kanji of kudasai. Mizu wo kudasai. Please give me water, right? So, pababa siya kasi nakatapakambaba ka because you are uh, requesting something. Please give me this. And we have the kanji for naka, inside. So, naka, it means inside. And Chugoku, so this is the kanji for China, Chu, plus the kanji for country, Kuni. It will become Chugoku. And we have junior high school, Chu, plus the Gaku. Because nasa middle siya, 
kaya naging chuga ko because this meaning is middle then. And pag mag-isa lang siya, naka is inside. And all year round, ichinenju. All year round. Ichinenju, Nihongo wa benkyo shimas. I studied Nihongo all year round. And we have Han. This is the kanji for half. So if you have, say, Sanji Han des. So meron ka ng kanji for San. Plus the G plus the H. Because in lesson 3, we have the kanji for numbers, kanji for time, and kanji ngayon for half. And we have hanbun. Hanbun is half. So, hanbun wo kudasai. Please give me half. And half price is han gaku. And if you say half a year, han toshi. So, dito yung year natin, hindi siya naging nen. But naging toshi. So, han toshi is half a year. Han toshi. And we already done with the kanji. And we have to end this. So, if you do you have questions, Jovi-san? So we will um continue the lesson for on uh Saturday on Thursday sorry kasi hanggang doon na kami last time para hindi tayo masyadong mahuli sa lesson pag may absent na isa medyo uh chill lang sa lesson and we this we will discuss the mo but mo is um Nas a lesson to siya or three, I think. But this time we will have if you buy something or if you go uh, dun din sa araw na yun, pumunta ka sa isang lugar, we will also use mo because mo is also. And we have the duration of activity and we have the uh, adverb. Taksan is a lot. If you want to say, I take a lot of picture, I ate a lot, dito rin siya sa lesson 4. And of course, the to. We will discuss it next, sa Thursday. And we have the practices. And now, medyo light lang tayo, the kanji of the month, the kanji of the day, and of course, the kanji of uh, lesson 4. And next week, we will try to read kanji of lesson 3 and 4 because sa kanji book, may practice siyang uh, reading practice. But, I think, uh, syempre, lalagyan muna natin siya ng romaji kasi most sa tatlo sa inyo, kayong tatlo in Thursday class, hindi pa masyado nakakabasa ng hiragana. But I hope, uh, pag nasa lesson 8 na or hanggang 12, meron na tayo magbasa ng hiragana para hindi masayang ang ating aral. So, if you have time, please try to write hiragana on your notebook para lang ma-practice and mapamilyarize sa hiragana. But, uh, all in all, in speaking or composing um, sentence, I think kaya nang mag-compose ng sentence. So, congratulations, Sobisan. And congratulations, Congratulations in Japanese is Omedeto gozaimasu. Omedeto gozaimasu. Hi, if you have questions, so please don't hesitate to message me. And if you have time, please answer the workbook para nalalaman natin kung saan stage na tayo. So, lesson 1, wala pa rin. So, pwede naman siyang sagutan and send it.